Hey everyone, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning and in today's video we are going to be diving into my brand new spring reading collection and we're going to see what all's inside so far. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's dive in. This is the mood board freebie that goes along with the collection. Um, just in case you didn't know, I've been doing these mood boards for, oh, I don't, I don't even know how long. I've been doing them for a while for the different monthly bundles and subscriptions and all that. So this is the, the mood board that you can find in the Facebook group. I've got a whole Dropbox folder set up of all the different mood boards that I've been creating for these things, and you can always get them. I've been trying to be good to put them out on the 20th of the month, so um, mark that in your calendar if you want to. Um, hopefully, I'll still be able to stick with that, but you can get this as a freebie in the Facebook group, and I want to challenge you to use it in some fun way. I'm going to... Hey, I think I'm going to use it um, for a daily spread today, um, and hopefully that'll give you some inspiration for something. So, we shall see, but I just wanted to let you guys know this is in the Facebook group. It's a fun way to see the colors and, like, the general vibe of the collection. And now let's dive in. Okay, so... For May, I'm I'm still using the Boss Babe DIY Quarterly Planner, and I wanted to fully embrace the new spring reading theme for May, so I decided to, you know, decorate my May divider using some of the stuff from the collection. A couple items like this one here and this one here are from my um, Vintage Feels um collage style sticker set but I thought they went really well with this and then this charm is from the the new Queen of Darkness charm bundle but I thought the purple went really well and if you know anything about this planner then you probably know that underneath this oh it's all so scary is like a big floral thing but I wanted to you know use this theme so I decided to just cover that up so ugh. It's always so scary, but I just thought I'd give you like a fun little, fun little thing there. Um, but let's dive in to the actual collection. So in my good notes, I have got a folder for my different collections and I decided to just combine the spring reading one with my book lovers collection. So if you haven't seen this theme, if you love the spring reading, then you'll probably love this other book lovers one. So just side note, check that out. Um, but let's just start picking things from the new collection and just dive right in. So let's look at the decorative sticker book. So I'll just do a quick flip because you've probably already seen this on Instagram, but if you haven't, you might still totally want to see it. So let's just look at that. So this is the decorative sticker book. Of course, I've got the hex codes for you. And this is one big sticker that you can actually like cut down and use these if you want. Um, but it gives you the, the code so you can match the colors. But I just love this. It's so pretty. I love this color scheme. It's great for spring. And, of course, quotes for you book lovers. And ugh, I just love it. Love it. Right? And then I threw in some, I guess maybe these are kind of like widget stickers. I don't know. But I thought that would be fun. So I've got like currently reading book release, and then like a blank one you can use for anything. And you may have seen this one already in a post I shared. I want to say it was last Saturday's post. I added this to one of my daily spreads and put a book cover 
right there for the book that I was currently reading. So love that. We've got some other little widgets over here, some star rating stickers, and then patterns. I love these for like layering and for creating different, like you could do a freehand crop and create like a shape or something, or, you know, just lay, layer, 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 layer. So good. Or covering up an area on your planner and then adding something on top of it. That's a good thing too. But there's also this whole page of patterns. And yes, you can use these in, um, in like an app like Procreate or something and put a bunch of them together to create like a larger pattern or a smaller scale pattern or something. But so these are seamless repeats. So you can use that that way. But that is the decorative sticker book. And then we've got the functional sticker book. Okay, so this is the functional sticker book. And it's ah, these colors. Once again, these colors are great. I decided to mix in like the lighter version and the darker version of these colors. And I just think they're so pretty. So pretty and perfect for spring, right? I love having the darker and the lighter versions of these colors and then some accent colors mixed in. Um, I think, you know, they work really well together. We've got our numbers, days and months and all that. And I love these. I just love these. So pretty. And then some layered up boxes and some little note boxes, some to-do list boxes over here. And then photo frames because, I mean, the photo frames are great. And I love having just the solid colored ones. The decorative sticker book has a couple of patterned ones, but the solid, solid color ones are even better for, you know, not competing with the image that you're layering them with. So that's those. And then let's look at the accessory bundle. So why does it always want to go to page two? I guess that's the last page I use. So this is the accessory bundle. You've got fun big note pages, little note pages, some different hardware and papers. I mean, this is so pretty. This is the one that I used um, on this divider cover. That's that one. That's probably why this came in on this page. And then on this page, you've got some washi, some more hardware, some pens, and some more papers. Uh, They're just so pretty. I just love this this scheme. It's so pretty. Um, let's see. For paper notes, I switch things up. You guys know I love to mix things up every once in a while. So for paper notes this time, we're doing something a little bit different. I did these little note pages, and I'm dying to use these in one particular way when I get to one of my weekly spreads. I'm just going to show you real quick because like it's in my head and it was in my head from the moment I made these and I think I have that weekly page. Okay. So I was thinking mainly for this one, this idea just kept sticking to my head. I don't know if you guys heard that, but there's like a giant dump truck noise outside. Okay. So this is kind of like, oh, I just, Hey, quit that. Quit that. I had this in my head that this would be such a cute sticker to go like here. And then I imagine doing like a solid color behind it. And then you put the date right there. And this is for like, you make note of any like scheduled events, reminders, you know, social media posts that have to go out. And then over here is like your notes for the day. I just have this in my head and that's how I'm going to use this for this day. I think that'd be so cute. And of course you can always... If you wanted just like this top part, you can always, you know, crop this down and just do like a tiny little thing. Like that would be cute too. I mean, it does get a little weird with the shadows over here, but it could be something that you like tuck in on top of something. Like if you had it like this and then did a functional sticker. Let's see. Let's just pick this one. And then, you know, it's sat on top of a functional sticker. So it looks like it's like tucked behind. I mean, obviously, like ignore this. But 
like that's really cute too. So there's like different ways that you can use this, but uh, I'm gonna get rid of these. Okay, so these are the new paper notes. There's three different colors, and then you have like the main three colors, and then you have this version where it's like a long note with like little dotted lines. So the, there's also a place where you can add the date here, but these are these are fun ways that you can like try something different with a paper note. And you could add these to, like let's say you're doing a daily page, like these would be a fun way to, both of these would be a really fun way to like date your page and just put like the date and the day and like important notes and then fill in the rest of the stuff on the page. I just think that that's really fun. And you know, I like to switch things up every once in a while. A little note sticker and so I thought this was this would be a fun way to switch things up for a different version of paper notes so you've got the purple the blue and the pink for these and I just I love them they're so cute maybe I use one of these for a daily page today too I don't know okay and then before we dive into the planner let's look at some of the other things so um, the calendar overlays, this is what they look like this time. And there is like the wide version and I, I love this. I highlighted the weekend. There is Monday start and Sunday start. So Sunday start, obviously that splits, but it's dated and decorated for May. This one is designed to go in the one month planner. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a big chunky spiral. So spiral goes there in the middle, but if you're not using that one, then the, you can use this in another way. So I actually use this in the Boss Babe Planner that I'm using right now. And this is what my monthly page looks like so far. Um, I am going to do my tiny journaling. If you have not seen that post in the Facebook group, um, it looks like this. There's a lot on it, so it's a little bit slow. But this is my April I did tiny journaling throughout the month on the different days, so I do plan to do that for May, but I wanted to use the decorated overlay, so since it's this is just like one big sticker, but in order to use it in this one, I actually cut it in half and did one half over here and one half over here and just kind of like sized it to fit. I think I stretched it out this way just a little bit so that it fit. But it totally works on this planner, and it doesn't have to just be for that spiral. And I just did this on a blank page, so, oh, scary. If I move this, you can see it's just on a blank page. Undo. Okay. And then the vertical version looks like this. And this could be used in any of my modern vertical planners, or you could do the same thing where if you copy this, Let's say you're working in this planner and you want to use that particular one. You can do a blank page and paste this in. Always switch over to the image so you know it's going straight. And then you can just size this up to fit. You could stretch it out if you want or you could like pull it up here and put a piece of washi down here at the bottom. Like that's a fun way to do the calendar in um, a planner like this. So. Just some ideas there. Okay, so that's the calendar overlays. And then the mini calendars are so freaking cute this time. I love it. Of course, we've got the transparent background ones. And then we've got the solid colors. And then the decorative ones. I mean, how cute are those? So freaking cute. I used this one in a spread. I did a goal spread. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah. So this is my goal spread. I've, this is just sample text for now. I've got to go back and fill it in, but this is my goals for the month page. And I use this right there. Oh, love it. And if you don't know what this page looks like in this planner, it looks like this. So I decided instead of filling in this mini calendar, I would just use this as like one big spread or one big, I don't know, one big thing. So that's what that looks like. That's a fun way you can use that mini calendar. It's just so cute. I mean, those are just super cute. I'm going to close some of these so that we don't have so much open. 
the creativity challenge here is little spiral note pads. I'm not going to click on that and ruin the surprise for that, but that's it. And then this is the freebie for the month. These are cute little bookmark stickers. And I think these could be used so many different ways. Like you could add a to-do list on this and put it on like your daily page. You could turn these into like a mini calendar or something using like either the mini calendars in here or like from the, the Any Start mini calendar kit. But these are so cute. So cute. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cute. So this is in the, the vault for mailing list subscribers. So go and check that out. I just, oh, they're so cute. So cute. And then, okay, so the one month planner. Let's look at it. Let's go to, well, let's go to the front. So it has been so long since I've done a big chunky spiral for a planner. And I just had to do it. I had to do it. I was just feeling it. I had to do it. And I've gotten so many comments. People have like literally messaged me and said that they're so glad that my chunky spirals are back. So I, I, I plan to do more. So if you'd like to see a chunky spiral in another theme or in just, just like a basic, uh, notebook or something like that, let me know because I do have some like in the works. I, it's, it's just been too long since I've done a chunky spiral. So I'm really excited about it. Okay. So on the cover, I've seen so many cute covers of this planner where people have put like May here and then decorated the sides with all kinds of accessories and like coffee cups and just notepads and oh, so cute. So you can click here and it goes to the inside. I started out with just like a blank page. So this could be like your dashboard for the month, just something fun that you can decorate for yourself, do whatever. Then you've got, you know, the usual, this planner belongs to all the details with links here. And then this is your note section. So if you click this, that's where it goes. Oh, and the, the spiral takes you back to the cover from anywhere in the planner. So I've got four little linked pages here for your notes. So you can do, uh, behind it is, is lined pages, but this is your notes. So you can categorize these however you need to. Then we've got a planning section. And in this, you've got year to glance, yearly planning, planning ahead, and then three bonus dividers that you can use however you want. So we've got year to glance. This is yearly planning. So you can do like big goals or notes or whatever here for each of the months. Planning ahead is like a quarterly page. So you can, you know, plan for the next three months, either the current month and the ones that follow, or this is just future planning for after this month, since it is a one month planner. And then these are the extra, those three divider pages. That's these. It's just like the basic grid. So you can organize any notes you have there. Then we've got this goals section here. So here you've got goals and reflection, vision board, and then a couple of blank. Oh, Ashley, I'm, I'm doing a video. Hang on. A couple of blank dividers here. Uh, productivity dashboard and notes. So this is your goals for the month. Love this. Then you've got your productivity dashboard here and a blank page where you can do a vision board and then a notes page. And then this is linked to those blank tabs there. So you've got a couple little bonus pages. Ashley, honey, I'm doing a video. Please stop. Then we're in our monthly section. That's this one here. So you've got all the things, monthly calendar, and a currently dashboard. And so this is what that looks like. This is all the things. This is your monthly page. So obviously that um, calendar overlay fits perfectly here. Let's see. Oh, I closed it. Here we go. So if I take this, copy, and go here. And sometimes it can be a little tricky. Always remember, click out and go to the image tool because then it'll just straighten out. Because sometimes GoodNotes does like that weird thing where it wants to not really keep things straight. I don't know. Okay, maybe just a little more. 
I mean, that's pretty close. So there you go. That's for a quick one. It's a little off over here. I can adjust that one. There we go. Yep. Yep. Perfectionist here. Okay. So there's your monthly page. Then you've got your currently dashboard where you've got, you know, currently doing, watching, reading, listening to, and then some blank ones over here. Then you've got your weekly page or your weekly section. And here's something fun I did different this time. So on your monthly, if you're on your monthly calendar, if you click the first box of each week, it's going to take you to a weekly page. But here's the twist. To make things extra fun, I did a different weekly spread layout for each week of the month. So I figured this is, you know, this is a fun way to test out different spreads without having to like swap the pages yourself. So you can, if you don't want the extra pages, like if you don't want to do different layouts, you can just ignore the links and just use whatever pages you want. But if you want it linked, if you click the first box, it's going to take you to a weekly page. So there's five different weekly pages. I don't know what is going on with this dog. Can you guys hear her? Ashley, can you get in your chair, please? I'm doing a video. Gosh. Okay. So five different weeklies. You've got this horizontal one. And then this is a horizontal one where it's a smaller over here. And then your notes and stuff over here. And this is a vertical one. And I divided up each vertical. Oh, Ashley, come here. Sit still, please. Okay. All right. So I divided up the verticals into three different areas. And there's eight of them. So like one can be notes or you can, I mean, you can use this however you want. You could do um, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then like full on weekend over here if you want. Or you could do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend. And put some washi at the top. You can use this in a few different ways. And then this one is the dashboard weekly with all your notes over here. And then this one is like the boxed weekly. And so if you want, you know, if you want to use those in the, the different ways, they are linked with the different pages or with the different buttons here. So if you click this, it goes to that. And if you click this one, it's going to go to this one. So it's, it's just something fun, something different. If you want to try out different weeklies, that's what that's about. And then there's a daily section and there's nothing in this. It's just a blank divider so that you can add daily pages. I got you covered there. And then there's just a couple of bonus tabs here that you can use for whatever. And for templates, there's kind of a lot. There's like, I'm not going to count right now, but I think it was like 42. This dog's looking at me all weird. She's in my lap in case you, I don't know if her head's popping up. It's right here. Um, so with the daily section and these other sections, you can copy these pages and then paste them into that section to fill it however, however you want. Because maybe you don't need a daily every day of the month, but maybe you just want to here and there. So, all right, so for the templates, we've got your basics, you've got your life pages, and then double daily and single daily. There's a lot in here. But, so this is the one month planner for the spring reading, and I just, I just love it. I love it. And let's see, so that's, that's all right now for the spring reading. But like I said, it goes really well with the book lovers theme that I already have. I do have, I want to say three different requests to go along with the spring reading collection so far. So I will, I will get to work on those so that I can have those out for you. But yeah, I hope you guys are really excited. Are you seeing this dog's tongue? Oh, Ashley, what are you doing? You little weirdo. Okay. That's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't know this dog. Okay. So I hope you guys love the spring reading collection. And if you want me to make any <laughs> matching goodies, let me know. And, um, I'm out. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.